What up, everyone? Welcome to Side Escaping with me, Jake Burke. We're doing something different. We're doing solo playing. I'm just going to play Breath of the Wild. We're starting from a new save file because I'm kind of tipsy. I'm not drunk, but I probably shouldn't operate machinery at this point. All right, the best thing about Breath of the Wild, wow, it is very bright with a bright white screen. Look at that. Ugh. As you'll see, it's an open world. We're going to do the Great Plateau. That's probably what we're going to do tonight. Drunk. Um, eh, drunk. Arguably. A cop would have problems, but I don't think I'd be busted, you know? All right. So Link wakes up. Link's real confused. He's a real confused little Hylian boy. And he's just figuring out what he is. Not wearing a shirt. And then we got this freaking marvel of a game. It's wickedly fun. It's ridiculous. And I'm just kind of glad to jump back into it. I also know kind of where to go a lot, especially in the Great Plateau, so. Yeah. Take it. Sorry. You You're not getting a what am I going to do playthrough. We got the slate. Now we got to start opening some, some chests up because we're going to get like a t-shirt. Oh, I love when he kicks the chest and he's like, my foot hurts. It's funny. All right. Let's equip some pants. Boom. Get some shirts. Boom. We're not going to put on the shirt. Dude, look at this guy. If I was that cut... Oh. Picture mode. My bad. If I was as cut as Link, I'd never wear a shirt. I would walk around all the time without a shirt. This is obviously the slower part of this uh, playthrough. Really learning how these gates work. It's going to be very important later on for Link. My history is The Legend of Zelda. I'm a big Zelda fan. My first game I think I ever played was Ocarina of Time. So, um, which is probably my second favorite game of all time. And then this is right under it as my third favorite. Um, I think this is the best Zelda game ever made. I think it's arguably one of the greatest games ever made. Link. I just think that's a fucking cool shot. God damn, I love Zelda. But what's really cool about... Breath of the Wild is obviously the climbing on everything was a big thing. And, you know, your stamina refills, but it really made this game is for you to explore. It is not, you know, anything different. And then, of course, Zelda does the great thing of, okay, we're going to show you the entire world in a single shot. And that castle is where you got to go. You want to go there right now? You can, but let's get you powered up. Let's get you exploring The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. What a freaking dope ass game. I mean, if you haven't played it, you are missing out on an achievement in game making. It is. This is the best open world ever made. I'll stand on that to a. I'll fight somebody. You want to come with me? I'll fight you. I'll be like Captain America. Stand in our way. I'll fight you too. And look at that little old man. Mysterious. Oh my god, the game design's so good though. It's like, okay. Oh, I can pick up this. What is this? A tree branch. Attack with that. So now I have a weapon. Let's go talk to this old man. Oh, oh. So, obviously, he's going to say, Spoiler alert, this guy's the king of freaking Hyrule. Just letting you know. He's dead, though. He's a ghost. He's a ghost man. He's a ghost man. I just freaking... I just dig the hell out of Zelda. This, I feel like... Okay, now I gotta go to the temple. But it's like, oh, you thought a tree branch was cool? Have an axe. Have a woodcutter's axe. We're just going to do something right away. We're going to get a little Korok seed. A little silly man. Uh, boom. Korok seed. God, the game design is so good. You get them. You pick up seeds. there, And then if you get all of the seeds, which I've never done, because that's what a crazy person does, um, you get a giant thing of poop. A big golden thing of poop. I'm not lying, but I don't lie about no poop. For damn sure. I don't have the bombs yet, so I can't do that. Swim! Swim, you little link! Come on! Come on! Look at that chest. Look at that boy in his chest. I imagine he's 18, so it's okay that I'm, I'm ogling. Yeah, so the Great Plateau, this is kind of like the tutorial area of Breath of the Wild before we start exploring. Okay, we're gonna get into our first fight with his Baboken. I'm gonna fucking slay him. He's like getting up. He's like, nope, not today. Boom. 
uh, what's really cool about what they did with the open world of it is it's not about, you, know, you can throw a weapon, which is pretty cool. The game's not about, obviously, picking up, like, experience points and getting levels and everything. It is the gear that you acquire. So you can just get, I mean, almost lucky and kill something that's, you know, got this great weapon. And that is the weapon that you have. Um, we're going to go screw with these guys over here. But I think that's, like, one of my favorite things about it is it's not a traditional, okay, you, you leveled up with experience points. You're going to allocate them to this area of a game you are kind of attribute into what you adventure and find and the tasks that you complete um, and kind of the gear you pick up. It's all about you exploring. It is a pure exploration game. And that's my favorite part about The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. But this is also my favorite part. It's just the physics engine is freaking awesome and we're going to kill all these guys. Which is that? Boom. Dead. Yay nothing. Those guys are like, we were just cooking our chicken, and then this freaking bomb exploded next to us. Psych, we got your steak. See, like, see, now cool, I got a bow. Like, it wasn't even anything that I, like, you know, needed to get into a dungeon or anything. You know, you go into these dungeons and you get the hook shot. That was a freaking amazing shot, and I didn't even try. <laughs> These boys are in big trouble. Your bro about to get good. So here's the first kind of main thing of Breath of the Wild is obviously these are going to be the towers. Here's how you get your map of whatever you need to get. So yeah, always a big fan. It's a good beer, by the way. I'm a big fan of this beer. Big fan of Carl Strauss. Carl Strauss. That's a good brewery. God, I'm like tipsy. I've been watching a lot of the Clone Wars recently. Never uh, never really dived into them before. What a show. There's a whole episode about Yoda talking to Qui-Gon Jinn from the grave and learning how to become one with the Force. Come on. Oh, okay. This is the first time the Sheikah Slate has been activated. Oh. Oh, excuse me. Great Plateau Tower. So now I'm going to get the map. And then also, fucking little King Man's going to fly in and be like, let's do these four towers. He doesn't actually talk like that. But I like to imagine he talks like an old-timey Western saloon gentleman giving me a quest. It's kind of like a sneak peek into the deep, deep recesses of my mind. Here's just another thing in game design. This is where, like, I'm not this smart to design a game. But I'm this smart to realize it. So we saw earlier I picked up the freaking you know, piece of wood, then I picked up the axe, and then you're like, what the hell is that glowing thing down there? I better go check it out. Can I die here? I might die here. I totally just died. That's embarrassing. <laughs> I'm really sorry, guys. I know you expected better, and I should give you better, because I'm talking a lot of, a lot of hot shit, saying I'm, saying I'm good at this. I'm nothing. All right, let's get back to it. Boom, another headshot, Jesus. I'll be clicking heads in this game, too? Come on, I'm a head clicker. Right, and then, of course, every so often in this game, you just gotta eat. The boys gotta eat. Ready for this? You ready for this, boys? Let's get it. Ooh, that, that motherfucker ain't getting up. Neither is he. He just threw a barrel at me, what the hell? I get it. We don't need to change our shield. Stop picking up rocks, dude. I like this guy. I hadn't even done anything. Alright. I don't want you guys to all be impressed by that, but fucking hell. That was some good shit. I just crushed those fools. I made them know not to mess with a little Highland boy with no shirt. This is our first shine. The, the, the shrines are the crux of Breath of the Wild. This is where you'll get stuff to either make health or more stamina. Um, you get the little shrine orbs. Alright, I'm just going to let you know. The beer has been finished. On to the whiskey. Okay. First shrine. So we're definitely, yeah, the Great Plateau, that's what we're going to do here. Alright, so we are going to get to the magnetic little things. 
It was very exciting. Traditional Zelda games, you would go into a dungeon and you would get a hookshot, a bow and arrow, a... I really hate when people say bow and arrow, and then I say it all the time, and I'm like, I'm just a fucking hypocrite. I'm no better than the rest of them. I'm no better than Susie Lou that says bow and arrow. It's a bow. You'd get a bow. Or a hook shot. Or a grappling hook. Or a big leaf that you sail upon. What Breath of the Wild did instead of that is they give you all the tools up front. So every major tool that you need to solve any puzzle in the game, you're going to get in like the next four shrines. Boom. Magnesis. Get two of those shirtless, boy. You know what I love? Link was asleep. Link was asleep for a hundred years in this game. Still has his earrings. He had no shirt, no pants. Still had his earrings. In both ears. Little, little blue earrings. So obviously, Magnesis is a magnet. Also, this chest took me way too long to figure out that I could do this uh, when I was playing the first time. I was trying to maneuver everything else around it, and then I was like, oh shit, I can just do that. So every also every shrine has a little hidden chest in it that um, some give you like pieces of equipment, some just give you a bow or a ruby or something. And now I'm going to get my first um, orb, and then I'm also going to complete this shrine. Your boy ain't fucking around. Ooh, that's a lot. Stronger than beer. Spirit orb. I called it a sanctuary orb or something earlier. May the goddess smile upon you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the goddess has smiled upon me too many times, okay? So I can't move because fucking Mick Fuckerton's gonna come over and talk to me. Hey, I have this lantern on my cane, you see? Fucking weirdo. Flamboyance! Oi, perhaps say just something similar. See these blue icons. Now I think I'm about to be all fast travel. Boom. God, this game is really well designed. <laughs> R.I.P. Remember when I died there? It was a sad day for us all. <laughs> that was the Jurassic Park theme, not the, uh, not the death theme. This one's on me. What's the death theme? This is definitely going to be part one. We are going to play through Breath of the Wild by the salt of my straw. You know? If I'm lying, I'm dying. If I ain't got boots, I ain't got roots. I don't think anybody says the last one. The other two I think are real sayings. 